Hello, friends, and welcome. Hello, friends, and welcome, welcome to my forest. Let me try once more. Welcome, all. Welcome to these woods. None of it sounds quite right tonight. I'm not sure why. Ah well, no matter. However it sounds, you are welcome. All of you, if you are gentle and full of kindness and joy. If you are quiet and melancholy and tired, as I am or if you are angry and burning with rage at people or places or things or whatever. Welcome, anyway. If there is anyone here coming to my forest with hatred, I don't know. Cut that out. Cut it out for your own soul's sake. I've heard a lot of hatred outside of these woods lately, a certain kind of carelessness towards others' hearts and lives. I have no patience for it. I heard it earlier. Sounds of cruel laughter and mocking cries day and night. I don't know who it is out there beyond the trees, beyond my haunted woods. I wish I could say that I can weave a magic spell to make it go quiet, to make everything peaceful here again, but I am not that powerful witch, I'm afraid. Not yet, anyway. But what I can do, I have done, and that is, I instructed a few friends of mine to stand sentinel. King Dread wanders, protecting, waiting, guarding. He drags his sword across the snow, and where it goes, a little protective circle of salt follows. I hope that works. Queen Shadow watches and grins, ready to frighten away graspers. She wields her wand in the air, and it is there that the air grows a little more thick and dulls the noise, the shouts, the laughter. It doesn't make it go away, but she can soften it just a little, to our ears anyway. And so we are safe here, my friend. And so, welcome. Let's breathe a little now. Let's try and forget about that. Not forever, just for a moment, just to give our hearts a moment to heal. I would like that. Deep breath in. Hold it. Breathe out very, very slowly now. Good. Good work, my friend. That's excellent. I shuffled my tarot cards two days ago and asked them where we can draw strength from this week. Because I have felt awfully weak if I'm being honest. That's all right. We all have our seasons. And with the new moon upon us, I felt something approaching that I hope will help with that weakness, that helplessness. So I asked where we can draw strength. I shuffled, and a calm fell over me that I did not expect. I had trouble finding that calm at every other point that day, except when I shuffled my cards. And I drew the Nine of Cups. My, my, my. This is a card for dreams coming true for wish fulfillment, abundance, joy, reward. You have worked hard, this card says. You have endured much, and now 
you can sit back and be grateful for your heart's desire coming to you. This is where we must draw our strength from. What does that mean? I thought long about it before speaking with you tonight. I thought and thought and thought, and I wish I could say that it brought me the strength and joy and contentment I seek, but it didn't. Instead, I thought about the noise beyond the trees, and the enormous mechanical monster in the mist, and the raging beasts still hunting, even still, since I came to this forest over two years ago. It was hard. Difficult to forget all that. But I thought about it. And I think it means hope. I find the concept of hope to be a tricky one. You see, hoping for something to occur that has not yet happened, hoping for a particular future outcome, anything like that, is just another way of wanting, and wanting implies the lack of a thing, and lack attracts more lack, etc., 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 all things I've discussed at length. But you see... I still have hope. Even if I hope for something I do not have, I have that hope. It is mine. I cannot shake it off, and perhaps I must give up trying to. Because if we have hope, we have something to fight for, something to protect, something to strive towards. And if we do not do any of those things, if we stop trying, if we stop defending that which we love and believe in, we might as well be mechanical beasts after all. We might need to acknowledge that we are not fighting to win. We are not fighting for a world where there is only good, only love, only peace, only plenty, because I fear that that may never be. Human nature does not work like that. Animal nature does not work like that. But I heard someone once say that we are not fighting so that good, love, peace, and plenty will win. We are fighting to maintain balance. We are fighting so that greed and hate and emptiness do not win. I am rambling... I am sorry. I do not mean to go on and on and on about the nature of the world. It's just that I do not understand. I am trying to understand. But I am awfully tired. I am growing in strength, though, perhaps because you are here with me. So thank you for that. Thank you for lending me your strength. Here, have a little of mine, too. What a feast. <laughs> that reminds me. I owe you a story, don't I? I don't have it in my heart to scare you tonight. I'm scared. You very well may be scared already, too. So I don't want to tell you about... Someone who faced demons, or a demon who faced men, or ghosts facing their own demons, or whatever, whatever, whatever. I can't. I cannot. I will. I will find a way to frighten you in just the right way again, on a different night. But tonight, I am telling a story, so that we can just rest. And maybe, hopefully, perhaps, if I do my job well enough, find peace, joy, gratitude, strength, in the Nine of Cups, in contentment, in good company. For that is what we are, isn't it? Good. Now there is a girl out there, a girl very much like me, a girl who is me. 
a woman, let's be honest, because she is, I mean, I am 32 years old, but that doesn't really matter because there's no such thing as time. I've enjoyed a meal with you before, a feast of the mind. We had a picnic, but that was not that other me. That was this me, the forest monster who changes with the seasons. Let's leave this one alone and instead follow me. I am a witch. I've only recently come into my belief and understanding of that, despite years of practicing it and years of forgetting it, and now years of finding my craft once more. Is it bad luck to tell you this? Should this be embarrassing or something? I don't care. I come from a culture where it is sometimes considered bad luck to divulge too much information, to share too much of your power and victory and heart, because others will use it against you. And I don't care about that tonight. Let me share it because I think that I, and perhaps you, might need some of that strength, as I said. Also, I am done being suspicious of others. I am tired of trying to be something that I am not. So here I am, a witch in the forest I created in both of our minds. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Sometimes I do think I am actually a forest monster too, but that's because when I go out into the city, with its cement and its shouting, and the roaring of machines and the dominance of capitalism, I feel lost and dazed and confused, like a deer who took too many wrong paths, like a raccoon wondering why it cannot come inside, like a tree clinging to the earth as it is being uprooted. In these woods I've created and welcomed you into, you might hear that distant mockery, that awful hyena-like cackling coming from behind the trees. But it is soft now, muffled, like a murmuring, thanks to Queen Shadow's magic. I suspect that she's also me, perhaps. I've probably said as much before, in my hubris that I'm keenly aware of. But maybe they all are, these characters I so love to come back to despite promising myself I won't do it again this week, each time. But that's an exploration for another story. Anyway, the noise has dulled, dimmed itself to an almost musical soundtrack for our proceedings here tonight. There. Isn't that nice? So, let me ask you something. What is your wish? What is your dearest wish here, right now, tonight? I can't promise that I can grant it. Not if it's something huge and very specific. Like, for example, I have many wishes that I work towards very hard. I aim all my magic at, and sometimes I feel it is selfish and unethical. I want to be heard by so many people that my voice and my words will come save me from daily struggles that preoccupy me and sometimes even hold me back from creating this podcast, which in turn actually negatively affects my goal. Again, probably, I'm sharing too much. But tonight, my magic shall be honesty. This wish of mine is selfish and part of that side of human nature that often disappoints me. Because it is a hunger. It is a want. It is a desire to fit into this world better. To find a more prominent position for myself, and so on and so forth. At its core, though, my wish is more simple than that. It is to be heard. And in that way, 
my wish is already granted. It is by the sheer virtue of what we, that is you and I, are doing right now, isn't it? Thus I have the Nine of Cups. So, what is your dearest wish? I cannot give you a million dollars, or a change of career, or your one true love. I cannot do that. But maybe I can weave my magic just a little. If you allow me, of course, only if you allow me to give you peace, calm, rest, strength, company, maybe even a little bit of metaphorical abundance, too, in a way. Look here. A tower. There are always towers in my mind. I tear them down, I build them back up, I tear them down again and build them different. I can't stop. I will always build towers in my mind. But this one is for you. Note the color of the stone. It is just as you dreamed it would be. Note how tall it is. Its shape. Its architecture. The year it was made. The style it fits into. It is all just as you imagined. This is yours. Let's go inside. There is a winding staircase going up and up and up. Don't be afraid. I'll lead the way, for I have a torch in my hand made from fire that I created myself. Warm and orange, it lights our way. Little purple moths fly close, but not too close. For nothing is getting hurt here tonight. Not even a little insect. Nothing is getting hurt here tonight. We walk for a long while up these stairs, but we do not tire. Rather the contrary. With each step, we feel a renewed vigor, perhaps infused with a sense of purpose. For we need to get to the top of the tower. Everyone is waiting for us there, and we don't want to let them down, do we? It may not be winter where you are, but it is winter where I am, and that is why it has been so snowy in these woods. Because as without, so within, to coin a phrase. But it does not get colder the higher we rise. It grows warmer and warmer. Which is strange, because you notice now that there is no ceiling. When we reach the summit, you see that the tower has led to one large rooftop. On this rooftop there is no stone, no carpet, no wooden floor, but soft green grass up here. The stars are clear and shining overhead. And there isn't really a moon, because as I told you, we are at a new moon now, which is good, because this night can therefore be whatever you want it to be. What do you want tonight to be? I smell chocolate. Or is it roast potatoes? Perhaps garlic. Perhaps cinnamon. I keep changing my mind. I'm hungry, and I love food, so it's hard to lock onto one smell. Ah, that's because there is a banquet laid. A huge wooden table, with whatever you could dream of here, ready for you only to choose which to eat first, if you want to eat at all, that is. There are candles lit everywhere. Little candles on the table. Little candles on the grass. It is so warm. 
It is not cold at all up here in the night air. Freshly baked bread, roasted vegetables, sweets, cakes, cookies, fruit, salty snacks. I don't care. It's all here for you, whatever you want, so long as it didn't hurt anyone or anything to get here. I'm not preaching, mind you. I very, very often fail at eating food that did not hurt anyone or anything on its way to my plate. But this night is about wish fulfillment after all. And as I said, nothing is getting hurt here tonight. Just for tonight. Nothing is getting hurt here tonight. Take what you like, and then come join the others. As I said, everyone is waiting for you. Friends, friends, friends aplenty. Look at all of us. Look how many of us are here. Perhaps some have left. Maybe it was when I said I was a witch. Or maybe it was even earlier when I said the word capitalism. Or maybe just now when I talked about food. But if you've stayed here so far, then amazing, wonderful, magical. Look at all of us. Here we are, ready to be together and give each other strength. Let's try. Let's all take a deep breath. In. Hold it, please. Now out as slowly as you possibly can. So good. So wonderful. Thank you. I'm not going to tell you all a story. This is the story. We are the characters. This is the climax. Nothing scary happens. Nothing gets hurt. I think I'd like to teach you a song. All of you. In my daily life, which I don't really talk about, not often anyway, I teach music. It is such a little calling, it feels like, in the big scheme of things. It feels like such little work sometimes. But then... At other times, it is not. It is the most important work sometimes, because I think that empowering others to sing, to play, to listen, might after all be very good work indeed. So I'm going to do a little of that tonight. I want you to think of a wish you have. I'd only ask that you keep it simple and that you ensure that it does not involve anyone else being hurt, physically or emotionally, anything like that. Please make it a gentle wish. Do you have it? All right. Here's how the song goes. I wish, I wish, I wish for for you a dream a dream a dream come true i'll do whatever i can do to make your wish come through let's learn it now repeat after me i wish i wish I wish for you. Good. Next. A dream, a dream, a dream come true. Excellent. So remember to breathe deeply and support the sound from deep in your belly. I'll do whatever I can do. Thank you.
There. Good. And finally, to make your wish come through. You try. Wonderful. Now, try on your own. See, I wrote it for you, but if you sing it to someone else, it's still true. If you all sing it at once, at the same time, let me ask you, who is it for? Whose wish do you think you're manifesting? I wonder. I have some verses now that you know the chorus. Sing along if you like. You are welcome to. Always. What makes the world go round? What makes the world go round? Hear your heart beat, hear the sound Like stomping feet on the cold hard ground Singing hey oh, hey oh There's nothing to fear, my friends Though beasts still lurk and monsters work for their angry, hateful ends. Everybody, I wish, I wish, I wish for you a dream, a dream, a dream come true. I'll do whatever I can do to make your wish come through what makes our hearts so sad what makes our hearts so sad it cannot be that the world is bad it cannot be that we've all gone mad cause hey oh hey oh there's nothing to fear, my friends. Though ghosts will haunt and tyrants flaunt all their greedy, selfish ends. I wish, I wish, I wish for you a dream, a dream, a dream come true. I'll do whatever I can do to, to make your wish come through. What makes us all so strong? What makes us all so strong? When the night is fearsome and far too long, with joy and vigor we'll sing our song we sing hey oh hey oh there's nothing to fear my friends though this gathering is imaginary and enemies can be very scary <laughs> again i wish i wish i wish for you a dream a dream, a dream come true. I'll do whatever I can do to make your wish come through. One more time. I wish, I wish, I wish for you. A dream, a dream, a dream come true. I'll do whatever I can do. To make your wish come through.
Thank you for coming. Stay as long as you like, please. This place is yours, after all. There is nothing scary here. This place is not scary at all. I do not know what you wished for, or if I do have any power at all to make it true for you, but I hope all of us thinking of gentle wishes here might do something. I think music is magic. I think listening is magic. And I think we are magic. I drew the Nine of Cups. It is a good omen. Despite the noise outside the woods, despite the chill in the air, despite it all, there can be good omens, and good omens mean hope. That is what I have for you tonight. Sweet dreams, my friends. Thank you for indulging me. Thank you for joining me for a not-scary-at-all story. Most of all, thank you for hearing me, and therefore making my wish come true. Good night. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to episode 180 of On a Dark, Cold Night. This is your host, monster, witch, writer, composer, podcaster, all of the show, Kristen Zaza. I won't go on for too much longer tonight. It was hard working on a story tonight. There has been a lot going on around me here in Ontario. But I'm certain there has been a lot going on around you, too, wherever you are. I'm grateful for your company, always. Thank you so much to everyone who supports the show on Patreon. I really, really appreciate all that you do, my friends. Every patron there of $1 US or more a month receives access to my complete soundtrack, and everyone who pledges $5 or more a month gets that, as well as a monthly tarot reading video that I post on the full moon. To learn more, you can check out my page at patreon.com slash darkcoldnight. And if you'd prefer to donate one time only without any of those perks, you can do so at ko-fi.com slash darkcoldnight. For both Patreon and coffee supporters, I do like to give an online and on-air shout-out, so I suppose that's a perk of some kind too, right? You can also buy wearable merch at bonfire.com slash on-a-dark-cold-night. Another great way to help out is to leave a review for us on iTunes or wherever else you like to rate and review podcasts. That is a really great support for us podcasters. You can also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter at A Dark Cold Night, Instagram at Dark Cold Night Podcast, or on my Facebook or YouTube channel, just called On A Dark Cold Night, or on TikTok at Kristen Zaza. Wishing you peace and love and wish fulfillment this week, dear friends. I can't promise it, but I can hope for it. I also wish hope for you, too. I'm coming around on the concept of hope after all, I think. Sweet dreams. All the best to you. Rest well. This podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network. Sonar.